we, me and my dad was inside and we were cleaning chicken and I had already lit the grill once and I had turned it up too high so I cut it down a little bit and it cut off and I didn't know so I came back in and got the chicken had it out bringing it out there and um, I seen that the grill was off so I set the chicken on top of the lid of the grill and um, I didn't lift the lid to let all the gas out when I knew it cut off and I went to light it again and it just blew up I like screamed and then like I ran and like my shorts was burnt off of me and um you didn't have a shirt on I didn't have a shirt on and then my parents got to me and they brought me on the back porch and like rinsed me off with water and then um we went to the ER. I got changed. I put some new shorts on and we went to the ER. At that point, there's, there was a lot of prayer chains going, a lot of people praying. Um, because while I'm driving him to the ER, you could just see the skin falling off his arm. I mean, it was bad. And um, so we got the prayer chains going. There was a lot of people praying. And then by the time we got to Augusta, they were saying it's first degree burns on 37% of his body and then second degree burns on 17% of his body. They put cadaver skin all over his arms, his chest, his whole chest, um, his legs, both legs. And then they put placenta on his face. And so that following Wednesday we went back to Trident to the burn center there and they unwrapped him. And that was hard to watch, but they unwrapped him in the cadaver skin. They had to pull some of the cadaver skin off, which that was pretty painful. But it, to see him now, like I said, it's a, it's a miracle. They were even surprised because they didn't think that they were going to be able to unwrap him and leave him unwrapped. Mm -hmm. And they did. I truly believe in miracles, and it, it's nothing but a miracle. Yeah. Thank you all for, for everything. They had, um, Prayer works. Um, thank y'all.